Okay. We got uh, here early. We got City Cruise coming in here. I'm going to put this on my belt. Where are you? I can handle uh Oops. Injustice alert. Injustice alert and injustice is occurring in the neighborhood. Police are violating the law of the splintered paddle. Injustice alert. Injustice alert. We protest the use of armed people against peaceful protesters. Injustice alert. Injustice alert. This raid is being led by West Town of DFM and Trish Morikawa, Office of Housing. They follow each other around like sorrow follows error. Injustice alert. Police are violating the law of the splinter paddle. They're violating the First Amendment's guarantees to free speech. Armed men against peaceful protesters. Injustice alert. Injustice alert. Trish Morikawa is raiding. He's leading the raid. Office of Housing. Supposed to be protecting people. Supposed to be protecting the homeless. He's from the office of housing. Why? Why is that? Because this is the work area, sir. We need to observe the. Uh, okay, you can observe behind the red tape. We have to observe closer. Last time, sir. You, observe, sir. The the you can observe sir. behind the red tape. Okay, I'm asking you nicely. Injustice alert. We're being forced out of the area by the police, armed men against peaceful protesters, and the poor and the homeless. Injustice alert. See, that's why I brought, brought this camera. It's got closer lens. In. Injustice alert, and injustice is occurring. Armed police against peaceful protesters. Armed police against the homeless and the houseless. Led by Wish Chun and Trish Morikawa. Injustice alert and injustice is occurring. There's nothing here to seize. All property was rotated out last night. Nothing tagged here. Nothing is being stored. No laws are being violated except by the police who are violating the law of the splintered paddle. We protest this. We ask the police to enforce the law to enforce the law of the splintered paddle and the protections of the First Amendment and the Fourth Amendment guarantees against unreasonable search and seizure. We ask the police to enforce the right of free speech and the law of the splintered paddle. We'd like, also like to see what they can seize. Everything was rotated out. Actually, I don't see wet, so oh, there he is. Injustice alert! Injustice! I'm, I'm going. Okay, Go. you just step on out over there, okay? Please. Injustice alert! And injustice is occurring in this neighborhood. Armed police against peaceful protesters. Armed police against the homeless. 
treating the homeless as though they were criminals. Wes Chun leading the forces with Krish Morikawa. They follow each other around like sorrow follows error. Get out of the war zone, Captain! <laughs> The law of the splintered paddle is being violated. I urge people to look it up. You can look it up. You can Google it. It's at Wikipedia. Law of the splintered paddle allows people to be undisturbed by the side of the road. There's no law being broken here except by the police and by West Chun and Trish Morikawa and city forces. There are no weapons here except police that are using it to threaten peaceful people. I'll disrespect you. Yeah. I asked you if I can ask a question. You said yes. Walk with me. Man, I appreciate you guys cooperating. Thank you. Shit. Fuck you. Act like a real cop. Act like someone that gives a fuck about people. What the fuck are you laughing and joking around and shit about while you're fucking breaking me? Breaking the, your own state fucking constitution. Hey, this you is bullshit. You think this shit's you're funny and this is a fucking gay? If it, if it if you want to use by me, it's oh, it's so fucking Don't cool lie. to do this shit. Don't start shit. You get a real fucking no, job, you piece of garbage. That's why yeah. I got the tape up. Your own verbiage. Next time you point your finger right at me, yeah. use it. Do something. Be a man. Item stored. Did yeah. You. You get fucking the Nothing here to see. Everything was rotated to private property. No ordinances being violated. No laws being violated except by the police. Violating the law of the splintered paddle. Injustice alert. Injustice in your neighborhood. Coming to your neighborhood soon, maybe your house. I love, I love how you guys... The splintered paddle is on the emblem of the police. But they are violating the law. Well, actually, the state is being sued because of their inhibitors for uh, inhibiting the second Can I go there? Because only three people have that license right now. Injustice alert. Maybe I started some of the Police are violating the law. The only laws being violated here are by the police and by West Chun and Trish Morikawa of the city. Injustice alert. An injustice is happening on this side of the street. The only laws being violated are by the police. They are violating the law of the splintered paddle. I urge people to look that up, to Google it. The law of the splintered paddle. It guarantees the safety of people by the side of the road. The only people here are peaceful protesters and those without houses. Law of the splintered paddle, please look it up. We protest this. They're stealing property. They're stealing shit. That's the same as their stapler, right? There's no difference, right? Whatever. Right? Just stop. You like enforce it on me, but not them? Stop what? Yeah, which law are you going to enforce? Who right. are you going to enforce the law for? Who do you protect, man? Who do you serve? Who do you serve? That's the question. They serve the rich. Police serve the rich. We demand you protect the poor. We demand you protect the poor and the freedom of speech and the freedom to peaceably assemble. Injustice alert. Like being a part of a criminal organization? Is that fun for you?
City workers, tell your supervisor you do not want to violate the law anymore. Okay, 199, race number 20. <laughs> One more day, guys, we need two in a race. <laughs> this is actually the longest, I'm that engineering degree morning. working out for you, Wes. You Wes Todd job? is the director of the Department of Facilities Maintenance. He makes $112,000 a year to do this. It's a cabinet position under Mayor Carlisle. He has to grovel and do these kinds of things to maintain his $112,000 thousand dollar a year cabinet position. <laughs> Following him around is Trish Morikawa, coordinator of the Office of Housing, which is supposed to prevent homelessness and to help the homeless and not treat them like criminals as she is doing now. The two follow each other around the way sorrow follows error. Does it really take 30 people to confiscate one chair? Of course it does. One chair has oh. been confiscated. That's a special chair. Zelda sat in that chair. And he's got swords that spin around. 30 people to confiscate one chair. 30 people to confiscate one chair. I would say no. One chair is in violation of Ordinance 11-029, formerly known as Bill 54, a law used to criminalize homelessness and to criminalize peaceful protest. We protest this. We demand the police enforce the law. Enforce the law of the splinter paddle, which protects people along the side of the road. The only laws here that are being broken are by the police. They're breaking the law of the splinter paddle, the protections of free speech under the First Amendment, and the Fourth Amendment rights and the guarantees of against unreasonable search and seizure. Injustice alert. Injustice alert. I am so glad that I live in a city whose priorities are right. Because fuck everybody else. The priorities are right. Other people take money too. Other people take bribes. A bag of garbage and one chair. You dumb motherfuckers. Stop wasting taxpayer money. I'm doing such a great job, I brought 30 of my buddies down so I could take a fucking chair. That's awesome. Thirty fucking people for one chair. Use the money more responsibly. There are homeless people in this town. There are people with mental health issues in this town. There are people who need a hand up. But no, the city would rather pay 30 fucking people so you can confiscate a bag of garbage and one chair. You ignorant motherfuckers. Hey, bro. What are you hoping? Whoa. I need a I'm sorry, man. Well, they'll hear it eventually, I'm sure. All right, whatever, brother. Mother Effer. What? Mother Effer. Mother Effer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to compromise. Thirty people for one chair. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Meanwhile, there's another criminal crime going down, down the street at the Land Use Commission where the city and state are trying to okay the whole Pili development against the testimony of the people. What's the selling pay for an HPD officer? Chicago is 92000 Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Are you kidding? No. Holy shit. How much does oh, the teacher they, get? Oh, they, they got a chair. They got oh, a chair. Good job, guys. I'm so proud of you. Felony chair. I'm so, I'm so honored to be in the presence of people 
who waste their fucking time. The police are arresting a felonious chair. I didn't know that was tagged. No, it wasn't tagged. Nope, that was not tagged. Now that shit was tagged, guys. You have, you have to follow the law. You have to follow the law. The law says you have to tag it. There's a tag on it from yesterday's day. That could show up here this morning. However, the uh, the plant is... Well, because it's in my possession. They can't do shit. Uh, can't do shit because it's in my possession. I'll sit it down to open a can of whoop ass. Nobody wants that though. I wonder if they're gonna move over to the other side. I'm gonna fall over. How many people must it take to take a chair? Well, according to the, I, uh, the shopping cart, definitely. They just built a chair. <laughs> it, it is Atari 2600. What is it? 8 bit? Yeah, 8 bit format. He had a sword and spun around it. It, it like. Dangerous, dude. And this is the construction zone. We don't need if you're following us, us. Yeah, I uh, had the um, thing on my belt, uh, so it was probably a little shaky. Uh, we announced it's, 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 it's no longer the yellow tape, it's the, the danger. Well, what is the danger you know, here? The danger is the police thing. violating the law. Place the golden chair here to see if you're smart. And really, it's every, every color. You can see this uh, color is, so tape. Everybody was forced out under a threat of arms. This entire area is taped off. There's nothing really to do except tag because all the property was rotated out to private property. They found a bag of garbage and one folding chair. From last, uh, from yesterday. There's a person trying to get through. Here's a disabled person on the uh, sidewalk. They are letting him through. Now the uh, police have have moved the uh, chair and seized property to block the access. Hey, you guys put oh, that stuff in front of his way. You block the way. Hey, no, no, no. If we that. can't fucking be here, nobody can be here. This is bullshit. Have the Think your shit through. Give them your hard hat. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, look, and money. I wonder if I can get, get over on the other the side. <laughs> I'm going to try and... No, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. Trying to find. Uh... Now, as you can see, they're they're inventorying a bag of stuff that they found, and inventorying stuff is uh, is a search. I'm going to try and operate two cameras here, so. I'm pointed now at uh, we're at the corner of uh, Ward and Baratania, Deoccupy, Honolulu. There was a tagging raid uh, yesterday. A tagging raid under Bill 54. Uh, property has to be tagged. If it's still there 24 hours later, they seize it. So, of course, uh, over the last almost 200 days, the Occupy 
Honolulu has devised a way of uh, rotating out to private property tagged items. Uh, so, of course, that will happen. Um, also, the uh, chairs and whatnot were rotated off onto uh, private property. They found one bag, I guess, from a, maybe a homeless resident in the park. They're homeless people in the park. You can see a toy. I wonder if you can see that, uh, that child's toy, a stuffed doggy, uh, on that. They're inventorying the bag of property. And anything that goes in a trash bag isn't uh, stored. They didn't even bring the storage bins. I brought a higher, uh, I have a higher resolution camera in my other hand and I'm getting, trying to get some close-ups. The uh, raids are, are led by two people, uh, not by the police because the uh, ordinance, Bill 54, now known as Ordinance 11-029, is not part of the, the statute, it's not part of the criminal code, it's part of ROH, Revised Ordinances of Honolulu as amended, I think is the full title. The um, the ordinance uh, requires um, property to be tagged for seizure, but they've gotten around this by declaring some stuff, uh, clothes, food, anything liquid to be uh, trash and then trashing it. So nothing is being Seized, everything you see is being trashed. Uh, they airspace controllers? You know. <laughs> I mean, I know Santos gonna... thinks he's 10 foot tall. <laughs> <laughs> Santos is the Sergeant Lawrence Santos, Larry Santos. He's in an Aloha shirt. Uh, they sometimes call him Aloha Police, um, but they're actually police. They're armed under the Aloha shirt. Um, it's used so that people look and they can't see many armed uh, police, but as you can see, there indeed are armed police here. They're spending a lot of time uh, inventorying and then throwing away this one bag, looks like somebody's clothes, not from the Occupy, probably a homeless person might be at work, uh, you know, tried to stash it somewhere. And this is really an injustice. Taking people's clothes and stuff, this is really bad. That's really bad, guys. That's really shit. Tell your supervisors you don't want to do this anymore. Tell the mayor you don't want to do this anymore. You're going to throw away people's stuff. I know you guys don't want to do that. and your actions fill everyone with disgust and contempt. That's really low down, beyond illegal. It's indecent. City workers should ask their supervisors, tell them they don't want to do this kind of stuff anymore. This is, this is the pits, man. Well, like I was just explaining to all the officers down there that we're not stupid. And even though they say that they're not enforcing Bill 54, they are enforcing the the boundaries in which holds people back. And with that enforcement, by evicting you out of your home and keeping you from your area, this and that, it causes you to undo stress and you fall over. You are able to call for a police at the city's expense. That's right. Or not the police, sorry, uh, the ambulance. And uh, Look at all the, they put all that stuff in the garbage there. Yeah, what is that? That's all from that one dude? I think so. I saw him looking through clothes. I have pictures of him inventorying stuff. 
There were kids' toys in there. Wow. I don't know who stuck. Well, it can't be really ours because we had nothing else. Yeah, no, we didn't have anything else. So, that's interesting. That's that's your So we're not we're not close because you can see they. Uh, right. And this is uh, the Pineapple Glitch, you stream, <laughs> another channel. We've got multiple Hello. live streams here. I have two cameras on me and a bullhorn. Because you're badass. <laughs> <laughs> so what we lost is nothing. Day 199, the longest running Occupy encampment in the Occupy movement worldwide. Good job, guys. Day 20. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> hey, 25th, we got a little uh, thing going on. You guys want to join us again? <laughs> so if I'm sure. not invited, might as well be invited, right? <laughs> <laughs> You know this is my legal address in office, and you're stomping my grass on it inefficiently. I, I'm not liking this. You're That's right. my dirt. <laughs> Chris is actually a member of the uh, neighborhood board. This is his residence address. He resides here. The police violated the law of the splintered paddle by rousting everyone out. Uh, if you're sending uh, tweets and stuff, I can't see it because I'm I'm using a couple of hands. So. Um, I'll catch up later. Maybe I should continue with the. I might put this back uh, on my belt clip. I I think you know it stayed on, so I might have some good footage. Oh, there you go. Cool deal. Pretty good. You can see uh, next door, Honolulu Academy of Arts, is the former mansion of Anna Rice Cook, of Castle and Cook, one of the first thieves of land uh, in Hawaii. And if you steal the land, if you steal enough, you get a big house. If you don't steal enough, you get a tent and you get police rousting you. Total shit. I, I didn't really appreciate how Sancho was like. I was talking to him. Then when he starts... I noticed there know? was a little bit of a... You guys had like a little conflict going on. Oh, yeah. He lied to me. You know? I said, can I ask you a question? He's like, yes, but we need to get out of here. And I'm like, okay. Can, can I ask you while we walk? He said, yes. So we start walking. And next thing you know, he starts screaming at me and starting shit. And telling me to get out of here and everything else. I'm like, okay. Then fuck you. You know? You want to disrespect me? I'll disrespect you. You know? Be right with me, and I'll be right with you. Garb they're taking garbage away. I've got my camera back on my uh, belt. Somebody goes through. Can't make up for it now. It's on time. This is the 1940s. Police, you are dismissed. Ms. Chun, you are dismissed. Trish Morikawa, you are dismissed. You may leave now. You are all relieved for duty. Good job, guys! Woo! Yeah! I'm so glad that you got a couple chairs with a crappy car. Oh, man! Seize so today this massive like injustice. One felonious folding so chair. Let's go run around and steal shopping carts. What 
Lots of traffic. Well, some of these shopping carts are really, really bad as well. I mean... Who gives a shit about everybody trying to get down Bear Canyon while West you're trying to... West is the director of facilities maintenance. Department of Facilities Maintenance and Engineering. It's a cabinet position. So he must grovel before the mayor and raise homeless camp and peaceful protesters. Thank you for your service. The city is a safer place now that the city owns a shopping cart and a chair. Everyone is dismissed. Church is dismissed. Sergeant Santos, you are dismissed. You may be stopped. Now, Really good show. That was that was really excellent. This is great. They just legitimized the whole reason why we're here once again. I'll show you uh, a <laughs> tag. <laughs> You can see it's uh, Red Tent Day, which uh, replaced Blue Tent Day. These uh, will not be stored on public property. They will be rotated out. Now join us this Friday on the May 25th. We're going to have a little party down here, live music. We have a permit for it, and it won't happen out here. It'll happen over in the park here. And let me walk over to the park so we can get an idea of where our big party is going to be Friday night from around 3 or 4 on to 10 p.m. when park closes. We'll have a generator, live music right in this area. It's actually a beautiful park and as you can see, not really used. There's some uh, dog training going on over there. Uh, at night it's really beautiful. May 25th should be uh, a nice clear night. This is the farce that is Bill 54, one of the many ordinances that came up through many of the uh, metropolitan areas uh, late last year that criminalized homelessness. Um, <laughs> Let me see. Oh, no, it. Don't forget to tell Free. someone you love them. <laughs> there, there are many different kinds of people here, but we're all united in terms of uh, wanting uh, things to be a little fair, more fair, Good by getting job, money and corporations out of. Oh, thank you. Is this Trisha's car? That is. Let's give him a good send off. Yay! Yay! Thank you. Bye! Bye! Thank you for leaving. Thank you for leaving. Nothing illegal was going on here. I wonder if we can go to... Yeah, I took all the tickets. Hey, that's a nice little doggy. You put this on the cart so, they, so you can wheel it away, huh? So it can't be seen. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> so it's a good idea. Just no, we we did that a couple of times. Yeah. We had we had some stuff so we could put our stuff on wheels, uh -huh. and then we wheeled it away and they took it anyway. They took it after you wheeled it away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They chased us up the street onto private they didn't property. What was their probable cause? Uh, they didn't. I we've asked the mayor, and the, the problem is. Even if the law is being broken, if you don't have an attorney or something. Okay. And that's why I saw that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that. Is that from uh, Nolo Press? Okay. Great. I'm gonna check that out. That's not bad. I'm gonna get it on that. I'm gonna check it out. Well, we're back at the park here. Uh, this is. Go down to the circuit court and look for 
for a, a suit that's already been filed. Uh, that's that, successful, but like the one you're thinking of. Yeah. Okay. That you makes sense. You have to do a little research. That, that makes sense. The whole, the whole thing is, everything gets there. Well, first of all... Okay, I'm on a live stream. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to leave now since we're back uh, status quo. Pretty much the way this coin is pretty much the way it was uh, before the police came, except the police have come. So thank you for.